So four questions. I think you overheard some of that, but four questions. First question is, why might you have hesitated to join the club in the first place? I think the, the hesitance to join the club would be just going on an adventure where you're risking, uh, you know, potentially getting injured, your life, you're, you know, spending money, you're away from family uh, for a group of people you've never met before. Um, the first time I did it, I, I, I brought a friend with me and I think that made it a lot easier. But uh, it, it, yeah, it's always tough to go out on an adventure anyhow, uh, but, but with a group of people you've never met, that's, that's challenging. What, what made you decide, I'm just fucking going to do it? Oh, uh, that was a question, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I think the decision was, like, for me, it was, it was one was the location. Just the, going to a place like that is, is uh, for me, my first trip was Namibia. And I would never in my life just like buy a ticket to Namibia. It's places, the places like Freshline Travels are places where you know, you're not taking necessarily the family on a friendly family vacation. It's, it's, there's a little bit of an element of like danger and unknown. And while it's completely safe, they're, they're, they're places that are typically off the, the beaten path. Um, you've done a couple of expeditions with us. What do you get out of the club for yourself? Man, I, for me, it's, it's, it's purpose and adventure. Uh, the, the purpose is through adventure. I, um, I used to be in the military, and, and when, I, when I got out of the military, one of the biggest two things I was missing was community or brotherhood and then uh, that, that adventurous side of you know, deployments and training and whatnot. And the first trip I did in Namibia and now in Colombia, that, those have been like two of the most similar moments of my life back into you know being deployed in the military where you're with a group of guys who you you, you put your trust with them and they put their trust with you and uh you 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 go exploring cool um what kind of guy would you recommend this club to <sighs> just you know like a soft pudgy bastard <laughs> no. uh i i, I <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> Thought I could stay cool with that. Um, I, I'd recommend this to to anybody who who's missing that 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 adventure, that purpose in their lives. Um, anyone who 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 wants more out of out of their day to day. Anyone who's bored in their in their job uh, and is seeking something exciting, um, seeking a, a a community of people uh, who also want that. Um, I dare say brotherhood. Yeah, but it, but it's not. You're not looking for weak guys. The, this this club is is looking for people who are you know men of character and and who are hard. Great last line. Um, let me ask one more question because you are you're now stepping into a leadership role with the club. You can look at the camera for this one. Uh, question is, oh, there. Question is, as a, as a leader in Freshline now, what is it that you're hoping other guys will get out of the club? Now that now that I'm working with Freshline uh, on, on any of our adventures we go on, what I'm hoping to do is to pass on the skills and experiences I've had in my life through you know travel, military, etc and pass those on to, to newer guys coming through. Um, the trips themselves are incredible adventures and I'm hoping to bring you know, some, some new kind of perspective to, to the club.